<laughs> Good evening.
Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you guys? Good evening, everybody. Good evening, just let me turn on my camera here. Let me see, can you hear me? Yes, right? Excellent. Yes. Okay, perfect. I don't like the camera on this computer, but let's check here. Now we're gonna call the attendance in one moment, but I would like to ask your classmates to join to the class. All right, just give me one moment. To chat. Okay, perfect. So we get it there, right? And let's check the attendance right here. Okay, let's see here. Oh my God, what is mine? Okay. Ana Mercedes Amaya Corado. Ana Mercedes Amaya. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Andrea Laure Laureana Vázquez Martínez. Present. Okay. Eh, Carlos Mario Avendaño Peña. Present teacher. Carlos René Rivas López. Carlos René. Carmen René Calderón de Vázquez. Carmen René Calderón de Vázquez. Carmen. No. Delmi Guadalupe Gómez Landaverga. Present. Thank you. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón Alvarado. Edgar. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Francisco Nehemías Godínez Jurquía. Present. Helen Dionelli Barraza de Jerez. José Daniel Meneses Bolaños. Present, Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez Castillo. Marlon Balboris Dueñas Rodríguez. Mauro Estela Orantes Fernández. Nelson Domínguez Díaz Alas. Present. Oscar Mauricio Montenegro. Reina Margarita Martínez Castillo. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Melara. Roxana. Rubén de Jesús Campos Gómez. Presente, teacher. Rosana Esmeralda Jiménez de Nieto. Mario Alexander Arteaga. Diana Carolina Guevara Ortiz. Claudia Carolina Ventura Canales. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Now, we're going to start here today, guys, with our class. Like I said, welcome for being here. I know it's a, um, a really good effort you're making right now. We're going to continue working today with the activity that you we were performing yesterday. But before we do so, Elsa, could you please put your complete name on, on Zoom? I me disculpa ahí, paso listo. Okay, you... okay. Thank you, Elsa. Okay, uh, Oscar. Now we're gonna continue here 
right, with our class. So yesterday we were working with this, right? We were working with how the, with the book, right? In the book, we were shown some information on how to make uh, a dark espresso, right? A dark espresso. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna continue working with that. So just let me go ahead and access the class so we can work together. One moment. Can you see my computer right now? No, right? Can you see my computer? No. No, okay. I think we can see it right now, right here. So this was the exercise that we were working with yesterday, right? We have here pretty much the exercise in which we had to put everything in order, right? We were supposed to put all this information in the correct place. Now, do you have the answers to that? Do you have the answers already? No? Yes, it's not yet. Okay, Elsa says yes. The other ones say they, they don't have it yet. Okay, now what we no, can do is no. the following. We are going to make uh, groups again with the same people you were working with, but I need you to remember who you were working with because I don't remember, right? So let's check here. Uh, assign manually, create. Okay, first group, Francisco, who was in your group? You were with, who was in your Sorry. group for this activity? Sorry, I not understand. Okay. Who was with you in the group last night for this activity? Uh, I not remember. You don't remember who was with Francisco? With me. Um, um, who is me? Me teacher Elsa. With Elsa? Okay. <clears throat> With Elsa and Kevin. Kevin. Okay. Assigned to Elsa, Francisco, Elsa, and Kevin. Well, Kevin is not here yet. So it's going to be the two of you. Now, and Andrea Laureana, who was with you? My partner is Helen. Helen Dionelli? And, and? Yes. I don't remember. Who was with Andrea? Another person? Who? Okay, just two. Uh, let's see here. Carlos Avendaño, who was with you? Uh, I was with Meneses and Ruben, but I don't see him. Okay, yeah. Jose Damien Meneses yeah. and Ruben. Okay, Oscar Mauricio, who was with you? What was it? I don't remember the name. Uh, estuve con, con René. With René. René y, híjole. <laughs> no, no, no. 
Okay. Otro nombre, compañero. No, pero no era, no era Rubén. Okay. Let's see. Sí, Ana Mercedes. Rubén en Oscar. Acabo con él, con ellos estuve. Okay, we wanna see here. Now, what about eh, Ana? Ana, who was in your group? Eh, no estuve en la clase de ayer. Ahorita que voy a Okay. Let's see Carmen René, who was with your group? Susi Nelson. Nelson and Susi. Susi, Susi is not here. Okay, let's continue. Delmi Guadalupe, who was with your group? My group was Mario Arteaga and Estela. And Estela Orantes, okay. Three are here, very good. And Reina Margarita, Rubén, and Ana Mercedes. So we're gonna put here the following. Mm -hmm. Give me a moment. Okay, Oscar, Rubén, and Margarita are going to be in the same group. Carlos eh, Avendaño, you are going to adopt another classmate. Okay. Okay, okay we're gonna, you're going to adopt Ana Mercedes. Okay, let's start working. You're gonna have no more than 10 minutes to complete this activity, okay? I think you, you can finish in, in five minutes, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go, let's go. Let's go, Nehemias. Maria Alexander, can you please join your group? Okay. Entonces revisemos. This meeting is being recorded. Eh, la primera, we, we process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. Nosotros producimos cocoa de calidad. La, la que da, ¿verdad? Ajá, la uno. Uh -huh. De ahí, este, por lo que veo. Yo puse la dos. The cocoa mass goes straight to factories in La Unión or Santa Ana. Uh -huh. La tres, si quieres, uh -huh. luego, luego comparamos con las suyas. Ok. We produce a rich cream chocolate liquid. O sea, ya está hecha la masa, se van a la fábrica y hoy la producen el, el líquido en coco, la crema de cocoa líquida, ¿verdad? El chocolate. Sí. La cuatro. We condense fresh full milk. Eh, sería la... Hacen la leche arriba condensada. Arriba de la 1. Sí, arriba de la 1. Uh -huh. Otra, uh -huh. La cinco, we add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. 
Ahora agregan la... Dejamos finalizando el, donde dice que es trasladado a Santana. Ese, ese sería el número tres. Número tres. Ok. Número tres. Dice el bolín de camino ocho. Vaya, Helen. Number two is we produce a rich creamy chocolate. Yes. Number three, que se va para la unión. Number four. Mm -hmm. Yo creería que es esta. We condense fresh whole milk. Whole milk. Ah, la que ya hemos dicho ayer. Yeah. Ajá. Donde hablaba de las migajas. No, ese es donde dice que condensan leche fresca. Ya, ya, ya. Ya, ya, ya. Bye. Si gusta evalúenlo porque dice la leche y el chocolate se van juntos y después we produce a rich creamy chocolate mix chocolate mix porque la tercera es nos, nosotros producimos un rico líquido cremoso chocolatado Uh -huh. Sí, porque la otra dice agregamos azúcar condensada con leche y algo de cacao. Entonces ah, sería la yo... número, sería como la número dos, esa. Yo digo que la uno, ¿verdad? La dos es la que está su... exactamente sobre la uno y consideraba que la tercera era We Cook This Together, que es a la par, la primera de la segunda columna. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Porque se cocinan juntos y entonces uh -huh. se produce la rica crema de chocolate líquido. Pienso. Más. La masa. Me imagino sí. que después envían esa masa para, para, para el proceso de fabricación que tienen en la Unión. Quizás ahí tienen, me imagino que ahí deben de tener las la maquinarias, uh -huh. digo yo. Pero la segunda sería la antepenúltima. Cuando dice we, we and sugar to condense milk, leche condensada y chocolate, masa de chocolate sería la segunda. ¿Cuál? El párrafo antepenúltimo sería la, el, la número la dos. Mil evaporate tu maite chocolate y leche evaporada dice este ah, pues no no sería esa porque no. dice que a la, a la leche condensada le añaden azúcar con un poco de la masa de cacao uh -huh. y tiene o sea, que ser tiene que ser el cacao completo verdad no, porque ahorita en la 1 dejaron hecha la masa. Solo la muy masa de cacao. Produce un rico. Ah, ahorita. No, no, me equivoqué. <ríe> me equivoqué. Ahorita. No. Ay. Pero ahorita, ahorita, ahorita lo, lo envío. Ya, le cayó, a ver si. Sí. sí. Bye, Bye, ahí está. Entonces, sería process de chop.
the top chocolate ya lo tenemos the product is sent the product to, is the sent factories. to the factories ¿En qué página estaba eso, Delmi? La 10. La 10, ok. Ah, sí, aquí está. El lado izquierdo. Ajá. Sí. Espérame. La 1 la tenemos We Process, ¿verdad? Sí. La 2 es la última al lado derecho. Ah, la 2. Chocolate undergoes the final special production. Ah, la 3 es la, la que está anterior. justo arriba. Sí. At the chocolate factory, we pass the crumbs through a pin mill. Okay. Uh -huh. hey, miren, disculpen. ¿Alguien de ustedes sabe qué es crumbs? Crumbs. Yes, I know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> crumbs okay, is, crumbs. for example, when you're eating sweet bread, you know, with coffee in the afternoon, you eat sweet bread like uh, semita mieluda, things like that, right? So when you eat that, sometimes when you're eating, you have some crumbs left. So crumbs are little pieces of bread. That sometimes they are on your plate or your table. Ah, okay. So, what would yes. be? Po, po, a veces le llamamos pozoles. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Migas. But migas, uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> migas, very good. Uh, mm -hmm. That would be crumbs. Okay, okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh -huh. Are yeah. you about to finish? Not yet? Yes. No. Yes. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ordenemos las ideas. Okay. Eh, tenemos, tenemos un orden, pero lo estábamos ahí revisando. It's okay, it's okay, no worries. Uh -huh. Okay. See you in a moment. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Entonces, dijimos que la tres era esa, ¿verdad? Ah, de la nueve. Hi, guys. How are you? Uh, little bit confused. Any questions? Un poco confundido. Si nos está costando un poquito. We can find, can find the, the order. You can try the order. Don't worry, you can make mistakes, okay? It's okay if you make mistakes. You can make mistakes. Try to do it. And if not, at the end, we're going to see the answers, okay? Ya se calma. This meeting is being recorded. Pero sí, bien difícil. Sí. Any questions? Eh, no, teacher. You finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. I think we're going to leave in one or two minutes, okay? Okay. okay. See you in a moment. Okay. Coordinar el tiempo y todo es bien, bien difícil. Ay, sí, me imagino, le toca pesado. Y solo imaginarme de cuántos alumnos son. <risa> Pero se dice que a veces no son los alumnos, son los padres de familia los que, los que tienen un temperamento medio raro. Sí, el, 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 el estrés de mantener a sus hijos y, y llegan a ser los santos a, le, a, a la institución. No. <risa> No, y es verdad, en el caso de pandemia, pues las clases semipresenciales es bien difícil, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero ahí es una responsabilidad del estudiante. Ay, pero Uy. ahí va. Ahí va. <risa> Con paciencia. Sí, la verdad, y tolerancia. Sí, eso. En el primer año que yo que empecé a trabajar ahí donde estoy, la gente llegaba enojada, estresada, que con la gran trompa. Pero, pero al final pues se acostumbraron a mi carácter y saben que no soy pésimo ni nada. Para decirle que hoy este, pues llega, mire, le traje una gaseosa, que mire que me pasan dejando algo, que mire que hicieron algo en la casa y le traje, tal vez le gustaba. 
Y yo, ay, por Dios, ¿cómo les digo no, pues? Sí. Ay, pero que allí no hay casos de cosas. Y la verdad es que uno tiene que ser como el, la fea de, uh -huh. del cuento, la fea del cuento, porque... ¡ah! Es que, <risa> híjole, Dios. A mí me dijeron, ten cuidadito donde pone su firma, y es verdad. Uh -huh. Sí. Es que, pero, pero <risa> Exacto. Yo en mi trabajo tengo dos, dos firmas, la de que hago en los recibos y la donde yo sé dónde voy a firmar, porque no puedo firmar en cualquier parte. Sí. Sí. Hasta una firma parecida puede decir, este, ah, no, pero yo pagué y fueron 250. Welcome back. Let's wait for the others for a moment. Okay, I think we can start sharing our answers right now for this exercise. Uh, can you hear me well, by the way? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect, perfect. So let's go ahead and share our answers. So we got it, we, we got the exercise here, right? This is from yesterday's class, of course. Dun, dun, dun. There we are, right? Here we have it. Now that we have it here, I would like to know what would be number two. Right? We have different numbers here, right? Number two, three, four, five, until 10. I will show you after this, the answers from the book. Right, so Elsa, which is number two for you, for your group? The number two is the cocoa must go straight to the factories in La Unión or Santa Ana. Okay, the cocoa mass that would be goes straight to the factories in La Unión or Santa Ana. Okay. Elsa, choose another classmate, please. Okay, teacher. Um, number two is Mario. Mario, Mario, number two, number three. You, go ahead. <laughs> we condense fresh whole milk. We condense number fresh three. whole milk. Fresh whole milk. Whole yes. milk. Very good. Whole. Exactly. Who's next, Mario? Quiero ver quiénes están conectados. Francisco. Francisco. Francisco se ve despistado. <laughs> Francisco, what is number four? Number four. Um, the number three is correct. I don't know. 
You tell uh, me what's for, number four. Do you uh, have the me, same? For me, uh, number four is we condense fresh whole milk. Fresh whole milk, okay. For so me. we have four, okay. Whole, repeat, whole. Whole. Whole milk, okay, good. So we have two numbers here. Oh my God, let's see what happens later, right? We have three or four. Who's next, Francisco? Um, the next is um, Rene Rivas. Rene? Thank what you. What you got? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, classmate. What's number, teacher? Next. What is after four? Uh -huh. My my number. We mix the crops with cocoa liquor in coffee bean, as well as special chocolate flavoring. Okay, that would be number five. This is my four. No, I'm asking you for number five. Lo hago diferente. <laughs> I'm asking you for number five. My number five is, uh, my number five is, we cook this in ingredients together. Okay. Who is next with number six? Rene, choose another person. My number six is. No, choose is, another uh, person. Ah, okay. Yeah. Choose yeah, another person. Can we wear a uh, Ana Mercedes Amaya? Ana Mercedes, what's number six? Ana? Ana? No se ganó el millón de dólares. ¿no? <laughs> wow. Ana Mercedes, what is number six? Hey. Chicos, deben Ahí participar no en clases. La... You have to participate Teacher. in classes. Yes? Teacher. La uh -huh. serie sería... Cuando dice, the meal evaporate, you may meal chocolate cumbe. Chocolate cumbes. Okay, that would be number six. Thank you very okay. much. Who is next? Sí. Who is next? La siguiente. Mm -hmm. Who is next? No, choose another person. En la siete, sí. No, choose another person. Can't see. Don't translate. Choose another person. No le traduzca. Si no, no vamos a aprender. Uh, el, 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 next y la... La, yes, seven, yes. la seven sería... No. Choose another el, person. Choose another person. Another person. Not answer. Another person. Like Carmen, Mario, no, Margarita, Carlos, Nelson. Ah, Who's another person? Ah. El person is, estaba con René, está Margarita. Choose. Y... Choose another person. Choose, select. I choose. Mm -hmm. Margarita. Eh. Margarita, eh, okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Eh, eh, six Oscar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Eh, seven. Yes. 
white meat, eh, the crumb white chocolate, liquor, liquor and coffee bean, as well as a special chocolate flavor. Flavoring, okay. I am going to read it once and then you repeat, okay? Okay. Please pay attention. We, meet, we mix, uh, listen, we listen, listen, and listen to me. Listen okay. to me. Okay? Listen to me. No, listen to me. Uh, okay. We mix the crumbs with cocoa liquor and coffee beans as well as a special chocolate flavoring. I'll repeat. Okay, we mix a uh, the crunch white cocoa liquor and coffee break mm -hmm. as meal as well as a special chocolate flavoring. Flavoring, very good. Thank you, Margarita. Who is next? Margarita. Um, eh, creo que Rubén. Rubén. Ok, Rubén. For me, the number... Eight? The number four. Number eight. Is... We are not in number four. We are in number eight. What is number eight? Mm -hmm. Ruben, what is number eight? Para mí están desordenadas esas. No, it doesn't Para matter. Mí, what is number de... eight? What is number eight for you? Híjole, la de abajo, Rubén, la que habíamos dicho. La de abajo, la del 7. No le diga, sure. déjelo a él. Ajá. What? We are the sugar the, to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. Ok, thank you so much. Good pronunciation, Rubén. Very good. We condense cocoa mass. Very good. Now, Rubén. Who is next? Okay. Andrea Lauriana. Andrea Lauriana. Okay. What's okay. number nine? Number nine is we produce a rich Creamy chocolate liquid. Okay. We produce a rich creamy chocolate liquid. Okay. And what about number uh, 10? Carmen. Carmen. Carmen, number 10. In my opinion, number 10. We cook this ingredient together. Okay. So she says that this is number 10. Okay. And what about a number 11? Who's next, Carmen? Another person, please. Son 10, teacher. Okay. So we have two left. What about these two? Eh, porque todos son 10 lo que pasa es que hemos elegido más de uno eh, eh, pero para para mí ya las 10 we have all ahí. of them correct ok well, let's check here the answers right now it doesn't matter if we make mistakes I would say this this uh, in Spanish really quick ok really quick in Spanish en, cuando ustedes vayan a hablar en inglés con personas que hablan inglés diariamente, si ustedes quieren buscar un trabajo donde hablen inglés, right? Quieren buscar un trabajo. Usualmente va a ser un, 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 
un gringo, como le decimos nosotros. Si el gringo le pregunta a usted, ¿cómo se llama? What's your name? Usted le tiene que decir, Francisco Nemíez, Carmen Calderón, Andrea Vázquez. El gringo no le está preguntando, ah, fíjese que mi mamá me puso eso. No, directo, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Porque esa es, cul es cultura americana. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que si a usted le están preguntando, ¿qué es esto? Usted tiene que responder lo que le están preguntando. Porque en Estados Unidos el tiempo es dinero. ¿Se han fijado que si tienen algún pariente en Estados Unidos, trabajan hasta tres trabajos? ¿Right? Por eso, tiempo es dinero. So, that's why we need to learn that. Tenemos que aprender a responder lo que se nos pregunta. En español es totalmente distinto. Uf, le ponemos hasta florcitas y de todo, más en salvadoreño. ¿Right? But in English is totally different. Totally, totally different. So, let's see. These are the answers that you have in the exercise. Vamos de nuevo al ejercicio. These are the answers that you have in the exercise. Right? And these are the answers that we get from the book. Right? Let me show you the answers from the book. Right? The same exercise. Right? We got it here. And look. Look what we got. Right? Almost the same. Let's put it here a little bit different. Right? So what do we got? Number four was correct, right? So this could be number four as well, right? Look, it's not number three, it's actually number four. So we're gonna delete number three from here. Number three is here, this is not number nine, I'm sorry, right? It's not number nine. We got number eight, no, this is number five. Right, this is number two, so we got it correct. Very good, right? Number four and number two, we got it correct. Excellent. This one is not number 10, because number 10 is here, right? No, this is number eight. This is not number seven, right? Number seven is here, and number five is over there, right? So these are going to be the answers. Now, I am going to read only five so we can practice pronunciation, okay? But later, I want you to also practice uh, with yourself, with your partner, whatever you want, okay? So I am going to read one and I'm going to say one name so you can repeat after me, okay? Jose Daniel, pay attention, please. Here, we condense fresh whole milk. Repeat. We condense fresh whole milk. Thank you so much. Number one here, Laureana. We process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. We process top quality cocoa beans to, pro to produce the cocoa mass. Thank you very much. Arteaga, we produce a rich creamy chocolate liquid. We produce a rich creamy chocolate liquid. Excellent, very good. Carmen, we add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. We add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. Okay, very good. Margarita? The cocoa mass goes straight to the factories in La Unión or Santa Ana. Margarita. Eh, hello. Yes. Me escucha. Me escucha. A little bit. Yes. The eh, cocoa mass goes straight to the factory in La in la Unión or Santa Rosa, Santa Ana. Santa Rosa, Santa Ana. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Now, <laughs> we got here in this, this type of exercises are mostly guys for vocabulary, right? What we are practicing in these exercises is vocabulary, right? Now, 
we are going to move in this moment, we are going to move to another class, right? Class number two for today. Just give me one second. We're going to download it here. One quick moment. I'm gonna show you class number two. Do you have questions, vocabulary, pronunciation, anything that you would like to ask? Yes, yes one question. Uh -huh. What is the difference between coffee beans and other beans? That some uh, that they are from coffee and the other ones are not. <laughs> For example, coffee beans, they are made from coffee. Portado. Can you hear me, guys? Yes? Yes. Yes? Delmi, yes. would that be your internet? Sería su internet, Delmi? No sé. Chicos, ¿me escuchan bien o me oyen entrecortada? Eh, A veces se le escucha cortado, teacher. Ah, por ocasiones se escucha cortado. Okay. Deme un minuto. Ajá. No se preocupen. Okay. <coughs> Aquí hacemos, vamos a conectarnos a otro internet. Okay, now, can you hear me better now? Ahora sí, yes. Delmi. Yes, ¿Sí? Okay, perfect. Okay, now, coffee beans, Tell me are from coffee, right? Other beans, they can be uh, beans that we use for eating every day, right? We have different kinds of beans, right? Let me put here different beans, right? The beans will, we, we, we will determine the bees, the beans, right? For example, here, let me show you. Uh, one moment. These are some type of beans. What is this thing? Okay. Okay. Can you see this? These are beans, right? We have different type of beans. We have lima beans, pinto beans, coffee beans, right? Different things, lentils beans, green beans. So, I mean, we can call them all the time. It depends on the, on the type of fruit. Peanuts, those are beans. Peas, those are beans as well, right? So it will depend, okay? Good question, Miss Miss uh, Delmi. Anybody else with a question? Um, why why beans is use used for what? For what? For um, porque se usa la la misma palabra para, o sea, beans. Oh. Entiendo que son frijoles. No. Mm. Beans are... Grano. When you mean, exactly. When you mean beans, that's the piece of thing that we have. So we have beans, we usually call them for frijoles, like you said, right? But we can use beans for coffee beans, right? Sometimes when you eat, uh, have you ever eaten pistachios? Right, Pistachio beans, we call them beans. Some others call them seeds. So we have different kinds of beans, right? So oh. that's, that's how we call it. Very Thank good. You. Thank you, Delmi. That's a good question. Thank you. Very good. What about the others? No questions? No? Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Well, let's see here. We're gonna move to another class right now, to another uh, activity. 
here. My goodness, let me check here. One second. I have it here. We're gonna close this one. And we're gonna go here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we continue right now with class number two, right? In class number two, we are still in unit one. We're gonna talk today about clauses. We continue with these competencies, right? The same objectives, we're in unit number one. And we have two questions. Well, let's leave these two questions because they are not too important. But I would like to start with this, a clause, right? We are going to start with clauses today. So what is a clause? A clause is a part of a sentence, right? That's what we're gonna do today, right? For that, we need to start working with our book, right? So I want you to please go to your book place and in this conversation we are going to see clauses okay so we have two people we have job and we have Kurt right two men I would like you to please help me with pronunciation we're gonna have Estela and Kevin Estela and Kevin cambien sus nombres por favor nombres completos nombres completos Estela y Kevin so we're gonna go here and we're gonna practice pronunciation, okay? Please listen to me, don't write anything. Pay attention to the pronunciation, everyone, right? You don't have to write anything right now, just pay attention. Now, Estela and Kevin, they have to pay attention too. So I go first. Kurt, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Okay. Now, I would like to have here for a job, it's gonna be Kevin, and for Kurt, it's going to be Estela. Let's start. Okay. Here, do you know what you need to have a good product? <laughs> Estela? Yes? We don't listen to you. You go, you are hurt. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, cool. That's a good question. I think that what I would, I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I am saying is that you do have to be in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes. You know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he, I don't know what is the pronunciation of Continue. this word Continue. to these people. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Now, don't worry. When we're reading, it's because we want to create fluency, right? Fluency. Cuando estamos leyendo y estamos practicando pronunciación, ahí, bueno. yo lo voy a poner a leer, no porque vayan a leer perfecto, eh, sino para ver cuáles son las palabras que no pueden pronunciar. 
Así que si usted no puede pronunciar, pronúnciela como usted crea que es correcto. ¿Ok? No importa. Usted no pare de leer. ¿Por qué? Porque fluency significa fluidez. ¿Ok? Cuando estudiamos gramática, cuando vemos los temas gramaticales, queremos buscar accuracy. Accuracy significa que no vamos a tener errores. Por eso estamos viendo gramática. Pero eso es escrito, es distinto. Right now we want to speak. We want to pronounce correctly. Queremos hablar, queremos pronunciar correctamente. Right? Entonces, así como usted cree, ah, yo creo que del mí, así se pronuncia, del mí. Usted se pronuncia, ¿ok? No importa. Nehemías, Nehemías, usted se pronuncia. Alguien va a estar acá y lo va a corregir para que usted después lo pronuncie correctamente. ¿Ok? Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Estela. So we're going to check here just difficult words, right? That we need to uh, practice, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Right. And this one, of course. Right. So I want you to repeat with me. Okay. And the others, please repeat because two more people are going to help me. What you need. Repeat. What you need. What you need. What you need. Very good. Kevin, what Estela, need. what you need. Repeat. What you need. Okay, what you need. What I would do. What I would do. Quality. Quality. Okay. What I'm saying. What I'm saying. Okay. Product. Product. Okay, listen. Product. Product. Exactly, product. Competence. Product. Competence. What my friend did was. What my friend did was. Fresh honey. Fresh honey. Sounds great. Sounds great. Contributes. Contributes. Thank you, Stella. Kevin, can you repeat these words for me? Yes. Contributes. No. no all of them. What? Mm -hmm. All of them. It's are here. Oh, what you need? What I will do? Quality. What I'm saying? Product. Competence. What my friend did was? Fresh honey. Sounds great. Y esta es contribute. Contributes. Very good. Thank you so much. You see? Good pronunciation. Now, Estela, choose another person. Kevin, choose another person, please. Uh, I can see the... Uh, Delmi. <laughs> Delmi. Okay. Delmi, mm -hmm. you're going to be job. And Kevin, who did you choose? Who did you choose? Podría por favor repetir lo que tenemos que responder. Yes, choose another classmate, another person. Oh, 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 sorry, mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mario Alexander. Mario Alexander, okay. Mario, you're Kurt. <laughs> Here, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I could do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to the best in the market. Because of the competence I got 
Yes, you know, uh, yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And the same time uh, contribute to the, these people. Okay, very good. Contributes to these people. Very good. Now I'm putting here some phrases. Write down the phrases that I'm putting in the chat. Okay, this is these are phrases that I am going to use every day. So please write them down. When you when you don't understand what I'm saying, you can say, "Teacher, could you repeat again?" Right? Or just repeat, please. Right? That would be fine with me. Right? So choose another person. It's good, un compañero. Who's next? ¿Quién va después? Right? Who's next? Now, we have this conversation here. Right? As you see, we have some phrases that we have here. What you need, what I would do, what I'm saying, what my friend did was. These are called in English, what clauses, okay? Now, with what clauses, what they do pretty much, right? What, what clauses do is that they help us, right? They will help us to create other type of subjects, right? They are not just the common subject, right? What clauses are often the subject of the verb and then they can be followed by a verb, right? They can also be followed by a phrase or another clause. So here I am going to show you on my computer, right? Because a clause is just a part of the sentence, okay? It's not the complete sentence. It's just a part of the sentence. Let me show you an example. If I have here, right? Let's put it here. What clauses? Right. What clause? Oh, sorry. What clauses? Right. A clause. Right. And we're going to take one sentence from the conversation. Right. It says here in the conversation. What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Right. This is the conversation that I am going to use. Right, and I will put it here, right. What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Okay. Now, in this case, what we're doing right now is that we're paying attention to divide the sentence in two different parts. The first part that we're going to use is this part. What I'm saying, right? This is our clause, right? This is our clause here, right? That will be the first clause. We're gonna put it here, clause, right? Then, we are going to use, I don't know why this is looking like this. Then we are going to have in the middle, right? We have the verb to be, right here. This is the verb be. After the verb be, what we're going to have next is going to be, it can be a clause, right? This is going to be a clause. It can be a clause, it can be a phrase, right? Whatever we want to put after the verb to be, right? So according to our book, right? What we're going to put here after the verb to be, right? It can be one word, a phrase or a clause. Right, let me put it here. Right, one word, 
a phrase or a clause. In this case, it's a clause, right? That's what we got. Now, do we understand this part right now? Do you understand this type of clauses? How do yes. we structure them? Yes? Yes. Okay, she says yes. What about the others? Do you have questions? No? Okay, let me show you more examples. Right, this is this is the structure, right? This is the structure. Let me show you an example that I brought here for you. Right here, we're gonna put it in black, of course. Right, what makes me happy? What makes me happy is free food on weekends, right? This is my sentence. From this sentence, which one is the clause for you? What do you think? Which one do you think is the clause? Many says. What makes me happy? What makes me happy? Very good. You got it right. What makes me happy? Perfect. So this one is going to be our plus, right? Let me put it here. Let's write the name. And we put plus, right? Now, what is the verb uh, in this sentence, Marlon Balmoris? What is the verb? Uh, the verb is, is, is part of, of the verb to be. Okay, very good. The conjugation of the verb to be, right? This yes, is the yes. verb be, exactly. It's the conjugation, exactly. Verb be. One moment. Verb be, perfect, right? We got it here. And the rest is as free food on weekends. This is not a clause, right? In this specific case, right here is a clause, right? Which is just a part of the sentence. This time it will be a phrase. Free food on the weekends. Free food on weekends. Do you understand clauses at this moment? Is it clear? Is it difficult? Teacher, in the primera, Eh, eh, tenía lo que la parte de esa that your product has to be the best in the market eso uh -huh. es dijo usted que era close yes y, y, y en, en ese caso vaya en, en la parte del inicio no hay mucho inconveniente verdad uh -huh. como que el enlace es un verbo exactly. en este momento pero cómo sabemos cuando lo otro es un close o es una vaya, ahorita una frase verdad pero no sé por qué lo de arriba es un clause. Yo realmente no logro identificar okay. por qué se complementa. Very good. Those are the questions that we need. Very good. You are going to identify a clause when in this part of the sentence, in this part of the sentence, after the verb to be, right? If after the verb to be, you have the words, right? Words that, let me put it here. Come on, we're going to make it bigger. Words that, uh, how can we say, mm, words to use to start a clause, right? That, which, where, what when right these are words that they always 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 tell me that we can have a clause right these are words that we use for clauses that we also use who right right 
right? We also use, I don't know why is this color. It's so horrible, right? Now, these are also words that will help me to understand that we can start a clause. So that is a beginning of a clause, right? Now, okay. I can say, for example, here, let me think of an, exa of an example. What I like to see every day is uh, it's where my dog is sleeping. <clears throat> right? So I have a, one example here. Right? What I like to see every day is where my dog is sleeping. So here, what is my clause? Where do I start my clause? I will start my clause here. Right? Why? Because it's telling is we're using where. Actually, what, what, and what? These are clauses too, right? Of course. But these are called what clauses, right? These are other type of clauses, right? So in this case, if you see that after the verb to be, you have one of these words, then it is a clause, okay? Is okay, it clear now? Thanks. You're welcome. Yes. Okay, perfect. Eh, now, eh, and, eh, si puede, que estoy tratando de sacar captura, pero no he podido, no sé qué, qué le pasa a mi cell. Tal vez puede compartir una, un, un screenshot. No. Yes, of course. I already have it. Don't worry. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, let me go ahead and see here. I'm going to put it here in red. Right. Now, I'm going to show you more examples. Okay. Let me put here more information. The attendance. Give me a moment. No van a echar de support. Right, let <laughs> let me see. Vamos a pasar a ten, a la, la asistencia. One second. Kevin Gutierrez, por favor, su cámara, su nombre, Cipote. Ana Mercedes Amaya Corado. Present. Andrea Laureana Vázquez Martínez. I'm here. Carlos Mario Vendaño. Peña. Carlos René. Present. Carmen Correct. René Calderón. Present. Delmi Guadalupe Gómez. Present. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Present. Give me a moment. Francisco Nehemías Godínez Urquía. Present. Ellen Dionelli Barraza de Jerez. Mm. Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez Castillo. Present teacher. Marlon Balmoris Dueñas Rodríguez. Mm -hmm. Present. Marlon Balmoris. Mauro Estela Orantes. Present. Nelson Domínguez. Present. Oscar Mauricio Mortenegro. Presente. Reina Martínez Present. de Castillo. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Melara. Rubén de Jesús. Campos Gómez. Presente, Tizel. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez. Mario Alexander Altea Campos. Here. Diana Carolina Guevara Ortiz. Claudia Carolina Ventura Canales. No. Okay. So we have there, guys. Eh, the... Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Who? José Daniel Menezes. José Daniel Menezes Bolaños. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Now, let's go ahead and continue. Right. So, we have here a what clause, right? What is 
or we are studying. I want you to help me reading, please. Please, please, we're gonna have right now the first part, Domingo. Can you please read this paragraph? Everything, please. Nelson? Yes. Can you read this paragraph? What is a what clause? Mm -hmm. A what clause is a type of noun clause or a free relative clause that begin with the word what in a declarative sentence. One of the most cannot application for this clause. A what clause with function as a noun serve as subject quality following by a form of the verb be subject complement or object of a sense of the sentence okay very good if you look at this this is an easier way before we were talking about uh, clauses uh, phrases etc or we can just say after the verb to be we're going to have subject complement object or object of the sentence right so thank you so much we're going to go ahead and take a look at more examples look at this what what when in a what clause right the word what means the thing that right the thing that right so when we say what as a subject right what makes me angry so i can translate this and i, I can um not translate, I can't change it. And I can say, the thing that makes me angry is, right? So when we put what is the same as the thing that. So in these examples, I can say, the thing that makes me angry is the way he talks to people, right? Is the way he talks to people. But here in English, we use what. What makes me angry is the way he talks to people. Do we understand that first part right now? Is it clear? Is it clear right now? Yes. Yes, yeah. okay. Yes. I need you to tell me yes, no. Okay, what is your question? For example, in these examples here, what we have explained right now is that what is the subject, right? What is the subject? And we can see that here, right? When we have what I'm saying, this is the subject. Why? Because this is the verb, right? And the subject is always, the subject is always before the verse, right? You have the verse, subject, verb, subject right yes. so another thing is that we are changing here what right so i can say the thing that i'm saying the thing that makes me happy the thing that i like to see every day right so i can change what right i can say here what equals the thing that, right? What equals the thing that, right? Do we understand this as well? Is it clear? No? It's clear. It's clear. Thank you, Marlon. Now. 
let's continue. We can use what also as an object. In these examples that we're going to do today, we're going to use them as the subject only, right? But in other cases, you are going to see them as the object of the sentence, okay? So you can see here, I can remember what I said, right? What I said is the thing I can remember. Right? What I said is what I can remember, right? Usually we put them as an object, but in this class, in Principiante Cinco, we're going to work with them as a subject only, as a subject. So we're gonna pay attention to that structure, right? But you need to know that they exist in other ways. I would like you to read these two examples. Elsa, can you read this example? And Laureana, read this example. What you don't understand is that people are all different. Can you repeat, please? What you don't understand is that people are all different. Are all different. Okay, continue please there, Lorena. What, what I don't like is when people, people want me to be the same as them. Okay, very good. Now, in these two examples, we can use that, why, when, right? Now, these are examples of clauses. Right? These are examples of clauses, right? We know that we have what, we have when, we could have why, etc. Do you understand these examples? This and this? Do you have any questions? I don't see you here. Okay, do you have any questions? Yo quisiera no. leer mentes, pero no puedo, chicos. Ahí sí las regamos. So tell me, solo Marlon, solo sé de Marlon, que, que, que me dijo que no. What about the others? Do you understand? Yes? No? no? Maybe? Yes. No? Okay. Let's make examples together, okay? Let's make examples together. We're going to put an example here. All right, we're going to forget. Remember this, right? I'm going to send this to your, oh, I don't have the WhatsApp here in this computer. I think I can. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Da, 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 da. I'm going to send it to your WhatsApp. Oh, my goodness. Web. One moment. I'm gonna send it to you so you can have it and you can help me out and make an example, okay? Okay, there we are. One moment. Jesus Christ. One second. Right now I am sending to you these examples, okay? Oh my God, this is so slow. Okay. One moment. Florida. Yes. Did you get the message right now? No? All right. Okay, it says, okay. I think this is the one. Do you get the picture? 
Check your WhatsApp. Did you get the whiteboard? Did you receive the picture? Yes. Yes, excellent, very good. Thank you so much. Now that we receive this yes, picture, it. thank you. We're gonna go ahead and make our example. So first we need to write or we need to have the word, the famous word here. What is the famous word to start our, our sentences? Right, we're gonna use what, right? What? Now, give me a subject, Laureana. Give me a subject. Any subject. Uh, food. What? Food. Food. Uh, comida. Mm, yes, that would be a noun, actually. A subject is someone in which an action can uh, be performed. For example. Uh, what? uh, a, watching. No, that what? is a germ. A subject is I, you, del, me, they, uh, mm. Nelson. Those are subjects. The dog. Okay, the dog. The dog, okay. What the dog, okay. So give me a verb. Give me a verb, Menaces. Is. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna use is, of course, but give me an action verb. Uh, is. Uh... Think about the dog. What is what the dog? Oh. What verb can we use with the dog? Mm -hmm. In... este no, no me fluye ahorita. <laughs> mm -hmm. Del me, give me a verb. Play. Huh? Play. What the dog play with, right? What the dog play with. Then we're gonna use the verb to be is, right? Is what? What the dog play with is what? Do you have dogs? Do you have a dog? No, no. The tail. It's their ta the tail. Okay, it's tail. Very good, Carlos. Right, the tail. You know, very good. Very good. Now. We have this example. In this example, right, we have here, right, Miss Laureana, we have our, oh my God, I hate this. Okay. We have here our clause, our what clause, then we always need to have, right, here, Right, the verb to be, right, the verb to be. And then we have our complement, which we said before, it could be anything else, right? That's how we create these kind of clauses, right? Is it a little bit clearer now? We need to make it step by step. Here we have made examples with is. But the conjugation of the verb to be can be am, Teacher, is, uh, uh, are. Una duda. Yes. En, y, y en este caso no, no, no tiene que ser el verbo el play, no tiene que ir con, <coughs> con, i, con is, i, i, is, creo. Porque no. cuando es tercera persona, en los casos es que va. What the dog plays. Play, oh, plays with. Yeah, 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 you're right. Thank you. What the dog plays with is its tail. Yes, yes, yes. The rule of S, yes. What the dog plays with is its tail. Yes, very good. Thank you, Marla, right? Very good, you see, he's paying attention, right? Very good. Now, can we make another example? 
Can you try to make other examples? Think about examples. Don't worry if your examples are incorrect. Try to make examples right now. We're going to write examples here. Uh, oh no, I wanna show you right now the examples from the book. They are very good examples, right? Look at the book, right? Now, Elsie and Oscar Mauricio, you are going to help me to read, okay? Elsie, you are going to read this, right? And Mauricio, you are going to read the others. So Elsie, please start with the first two sentences. What you need. What you need. What my friend did. What you need is to have a great product. What my friend did was get the French ingredients. Ingredients. Okay. Ingredients. ingredients. Very good. Continue, Oscar. Okay. Uh, well, well, do was what do is tell me my product in new market mm -hmm. was was I say is was I say is say is is no and say say easy task repeat easy task easy task very good so the book is telling us to use these phrases right right these are examples right very simple examples so i can tell you jose daniel what you need is more food you look hungry right what you need is more food you look hungry, right? Then I can tell Elsa, Elsa, what my friend did was to practice more English, right? And we're writing more examples, right? So what are we gonna do? Do you understand these phrases? Do you understand these what clauses? Yes. Yes, okay. They say yes. So what are you going to do? You are going to make your own examples. Right? Like this. These are examples from the book. I want you to write your own examples. Okay? That's what we're going to do at this moment. Now, we're going to work in pairs. For example, Delmi and Nelson. Mario and Estela. And so on. Okay? So let's go ahead and start. right now and we're going to work in groups of two there we are okay only one group is with three people the other ones are two 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 now you're going to write two or three examples okay use the phrases from the book and then we will continue let's go it doesn't matter if they're incorrect, but try to do your examples. Let's go. Nemias, Rene, Carlos, Rubén, Ana Mercedes, select your groups. Carlos. Está bien. 
No sé si estará bien, pero yo puse what you do need, what you need is sleep to go to work. What you need is. What you need is. Ah, el. El, el verb to be. Uh -huh. what, you, what you need is. What you need is sleep to go to work. Okay, what you need is to sleep to go to work. To sleep to go to work. Uh -huh. Ya no se vuelve a decir otra vez what you need. No. Ya no, solo el no. complemento. Only the co only the sentence. Is to is to work. Is sería what you do need is to sleep to go to work. Very good. Oh. Okay. They have a good example, Carlos. Right. Okay. I write one. Okay, I see you in a moment. Okay. Okay. Vale, el, 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 ejemplo, el ejemplo que yo he puesto es tú necesitas dormir para ir al trabajo. Uh -huh. y queda what you, need, what you need what you need is hasta ahí sería el close que ella menciona uh -huh. verdad y el complemento es to sleep to work uh -huh. dormir para ir al trabajo ok uh -huh. correcto yo había hecho una y es what uh -huh. I need to do what I what I what I need to do I need to do is practice every day. Sería hasta el is, ¿verdad? El close. Is, ajá. Uh -huh. uh, uh, creo que sería to do. What I need to do, to do uh -huh. is, is practice practice every day. Ajá. Uh -huh. Every day. Que sería, yo necesito, ¿qué sería? Practicar. Todo lo que yo necesito es practicar cada día. Ajá, practicar cada día. Hablando, Ajá. digamos, sobre las clases. Lo que yo necesito practicar todos los días. Inglés. ¿Perdón? Inglés le podría poner. Ajá. Practicar todos los días inglés. English. <laughs> Yo no sé qué dice usted. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, está bien. What my friend did was. Pero no sé cómo se dice ahorrar. <laughs> to save. Oh, what my friend did was eh, to save money. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exactly. Very good. You got it right. Okay. Sería what I'm saying is that it Mira, chatarra, is ¿cómo se dice? junk food. Junk. J U N K J U N K J U N K Food is bad. It's bad. Only two uh, examples, teacher, or more. I don't listen to you. Can you repeat? Uh, only two examples. The more you can. If you can write four, write four. <laughs> Entre más okay. mejor, dijo mi mamá. Okay? Okay. okay. Y se puede, y se podría, perdón, teacher, 
what I read. Yes. What I read is in this night is book of aventures. Okay. What I read at night, what I read at night is at night. Uh -huh. At night, en la noche se dice at night uh -huh. is an adventures book. <sighs> adventures book. I'm going to put here adventures, mm -hmm. adventure books. Is an adventure book. Very good sample. You see? You got mm -hmm. very good sample, guys. I see you in a moment. Podríamos también, what I like to hear. O sea, aquí se puede. This meeting is being recorded. Mm, la última. What I'm saying is, lo que estoy diciendo es, en el ejemplo, what I'm saying is that it is not an easy task. Eh, entonces, ajá. Como ejemplo, pero a ver, podríamos decir, what I'm saying is, is that, I, quiero ver, what I'm saying is that I need to work extra hours. Podría ser, ¿verdad? Como lo estábamos viendo al principio. O sea, no sé, podría ser. Si creo que estuviera la teacher por acá en el día. <laughs> Eh, le estábamos conversando que con what I'm saying podríamos decir what I'm saying what I'm saying is eh, that I have to need extra hours I have to need the thing is that I have to and need is the same uh -huh. when you say for uh -huh. example I have to drink water I need water uh -huh. is the same Yes. Right? So, when you say uh, extra hours, what do you mean extra hours? Horas, I eh, trabajar horas extras. Okay, I have to work. I have to work. What I'm, what I'm saying is that I have to work. Extra hours. Extra hours. Uh -huh. No dije así, no. No, I what, I, beer, what I have to need, yes. <laughs> is that I need? Vaya. Now, in English, in English, we can say extra hours. But, but most of the American people, they will say over time. Ah, uh, okay. Over time. And some others, they will say over time. When you go to the call centers, for example, they say over time equals OT. Look at the chat. OT. Mm -hmm. Okay. Over go. time. Over time. Time. So what I'm saying okay. is that I need to work overtime. Oh, over time. Or I have to work. What I have uh -huh. what, what I'm what saying I... is that I have to work overtime. Okay. Exactly. Right? Good example. Mm -hmm. Good example. Right? Any other example? Uh, of course, we have what you need is to sleep more time. That is true for me, yes. And, and for me, <laughs> uh, what my friend did was to read the indications. Exactly. Was to read the indications. Indications, mm, I would rather use instructions. 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 Mm -hmm. instructions. Mm -hmm. Because indicate is like to say, oh, look at that. Right, to indicate, right? It is like more like saying, I, will, I don't know how to say this in Spanish. Mm. Como dar, darle cuenta a alguien, aunque alguien se dé cuenta, usted que se dé cuenta de algo. Indicate. Mm -hmm. Él me indicó tal cosa. Right? Mm. Ah, como que gracias a él me enteré de eso. Exactly, exactly. Very good. Mm. Así se decía, ¿ve? Okay. Very good. Okay, and the, the correct... Uh, word will Inst will be instructions. Instructions, exactly. Okay. Okay. Perfect, guys. Okay. So let's go. Let's go with the other so we can share. Let's go. Wow. Well.
Hello. 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 Okay, now we're gonna share the examples that you have written, okay? Let's wait for the others. Let's wait for the others. I can't even hablar. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and share the answers. I heard many, many good examples, right, from the groups. So what we're going to do is the following. You are going to tell me the examples. You're going to tell everyone your examples, but also... I mean, you're going to say one example only, right? But you are going to write the other examples in the chat. So everyone can see your examples, okay? The more vocabulary we have, it's better, right? That will help us to write more vocabulary, right, Jose Daniel? Yes, teacher. Okay, now we're gonna start here with Mario Vendaño. Tell us your example. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, what I need to do is pra practice every day English. Is, okay, what I need to do is to practice every day practice. English. Very good. I would say what I need to do is to practice English every day. To practice. It's to practice English every day. Now, yeah. phrases of time. They go at the end, most of the time. La frase de tiempo, en un 95% la vamos a poner al final. Every day, every week, in the morning, at night. Mándela hasta el fondo, okay? Okay. Send them to the end of the sentence. Very good. Carlos, Perfect. write the examples in the chat. The Mario's group, write the examples in the chat. Laureana, what do you got? Um, what I would do is sleep early. Is to sleep early. Yes, that would be good. Is to sleep early. Very good. To sleep early. Uh, Miss Calderon, what do you have? What I like to hear is reggae music. Reggae music, yes, or chill, relaxing. Right, what I like to hear, what I like to listen to is reggae music. Do you use hear or listen? Calderon? Hear. Hear, okay. Use listen to. Listen to. Okay? Listen to. What I like to listen to is? What I like to listen to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen es la mamá y tú es el hijito, que siempre van a estar juntos, okay? Listen to me, listen to the teacher, listen to music, okay? Always together. Mario Avendaño, Laureana, no veo sus ejemplos en los chats. Vamos, vamos, compartamos. Delmi Guadalupe, what do you got? Um, what do you want is to understand the English class. <laughs> Very good. What you want to understand is the English class. What you want to understand is the English class. Very good. Very good. Carlos, le faltó. What I need to do is to sleep to work. If after okay. the verb to be, this is another trick, okay? If after the verb to be, you have another verb, sleep, swim, drink, put to, to sleep, to drink, to read, etc. Right? What okay. you need is to sleep, to go to work. Very yes. good. Uh, Arteaga, what do you have? Uh, what you need is to do homework today. Is to do homework today. Very good. Excellent. Nemias? Um, what I will do is review the English class every day. 
okay, is to review. Is, to is to review. Is to review. The English class every day. English sounds, class every day. That sounds like a plan. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Menaces, what do you have? Um uh, what food uh well. Hello? What ingredient ingredient uh, what food is cheaper? No. Yes. Mm -hmm. What food is cheaper? Hello. That is hello. That is good, Jose. That is perfect. But that is only a question. And we're not making questions. We're making sentences. Sentences. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That is a question. What food is cheaper? Uh, I don't know. Chicken? Because cheese is very, very expensive. Ya la vimos. Bien bonita esta. Okay, very good. Let's see here. Dominguez. What do you have, Dominguez? Dominguez. Se me fue. Se Perdón, el micrófono. Uh -huh. El okay. micrófono. Tell me. Eh. What I work are <laughs> Pardon. Mm -hmm. Did you know that yeah. that is a sign that you're learning English? Es una, what una... I, mm -hmm. what okay. I work are the old people every day. Okay. What I work are the old people every day. So let me let me Thing here you yeah, work sorry. with all yeah, people sorry. right nelson nelson excuse, excuse me do you work with all people yes okay now if you work with all people then we cannot use what because you're mentioning people right right you are going to say who i work with is all people who oh. I work with. But right now we're working with what clauses only. Okay, what, okay. not who. Who I work with, who I work with is all people. Okay, is okay. all people. Now let's see another example, Miss Amaya. Me teacher. Yes, Oscar. Yeah. Uh huh. Was was my dog eat in the morning? Okay. What my dog in eats in the morning is eat in the morning. Okay. Listen. Eat. What my dog eat in the morning is. Ah. Uh, what, what? Okay. Is Le faltó el qué? Uh huh. Mm. Repeat, please. Was my dog eat? Is no, what my dog eat, eat. in the morning in is the morning, eat. what? Eat. ¿Qué, ¿Qué come? Uh -huh. <laughs> Después de is, tiene que poner la comida. ¿Qué come? Tortita dura. Ok, tortilla con... Tortilla no, dura, pongamos. Ok, very good. A flower tortilla. Mm -hmm. What? You can say... Croquettes. Croquettes, ok. okay. Oh, yeah, dura. croquettes. I don't know how to... I forgot. How do we say croquetas in English? I don't okay. remember. What my dog eat in the morning is tortilla. Right, for example. Tortilla. Right? Is tortilla. Write it down. Very good. We have a lot of examples. Copy the examples, right? The examples that your friends have there. Why are you going to copy the examples? Usted lo van a copiar porque después lo van a leer, se supone, así como dijo el señor Nehemías que va a ir a revisar la clase, right? Entonces va a leer los ejemplos y va a decir, mm, no, ese ejemplo no está bien. Yo creo que ese sí está bien, right? Con base en la clase yo puedo decir, what my cat eats eat meat. No, what my cat eat is meat. Right, Nelson? What my cat eat is meat. Right. 
What I need to drink is water. Carlos Mario, what I need to drink is water. Right? So we're going to follow that. Now I am going to call the attendance right now. It's almost 10. Voy a pasar la asistencia. Okay. Y eh, luego le corresponde en el día 2 quedarse a la señorita Andrea Laureana Vázquez. Si tienen una pregunta, tenemos 10 minutos esta noche. Si no, dígale a sus compañeros por, por si alguien más se quiere quedar. Comenzamos. Ana Mercedes Amaya Cuadrado. Present. Andrea Laureana Vázquez Martínez. Present. Carlos Mario Vendaño Peña. Present. Carlos René Rivas López. Present. Carmen René Calderón de Vázquez. Present. Delmi Guadalupe Gómez Landa Verde. Present. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón Alvarado. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Present. Francisco Nehemías Godín de Surquilla. Present. Helen Dionelli Barraza de Jerez. Present. José Daniel Meneses Bolaños. Present. Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez Castillo. Kevin Vladimir. Marlon Balmoris Dueñas Rodríguez. Mauro Estela Orantes Fernández. Present teacher. Nelson Domínguez Díaz Alas. Here. Oscar Mauricio Montenegro. Presente. Reina Margarita Martínez de Castillo. Present teacher. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Melara. Rubén de Jesús Campos Gómez. Present teacher. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez de Nieto. Susana. Eh, Mario Alexander no Artea Campos. Here. Diana Carolina Guevara Ortiz. And Claudia Carolina Victoria Canales. Okay. So we are going to finish here today, right? And I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. Have a beautiful rest of the night. Right. Good and see night. You tomorrow at Good seven. Night. I sent you some. Good night. Good night. I send you some videos to WhatsApp in a dictionary. Look at it. It's important. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, 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 Fran. Bye, Mario, Stella, Gokar. Bye. Disconnect. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Hi, Lauriana. How are you? Hi, teacher. Perfect. And you? Excellent. Thank you so much. <laughs> Tell me, what's your question? Vaya, in Spanish. Okay. Eh, no, no entendí cuando dijo que se cambiaba what, o que no, dijo que era lo mismo de think that. The thing that. The okay. Thing that. Uh, in English, vamos a usar a veces frases que nos ayudan a prácticamente hacerlo más simple. Okay. Mm -hmm. En este mm -hmm. caso, la palabra what se puede decir the thing that. O sea, que en vez de utilizar what, yo podría utilizar la frase the thing that. Por ejemplo, en los ejemplos que nos escribieron aquí sus compañeros, en el de Oscar que dice what my dog eat in the morning is tortilla, right? Entonces tenemos, puedo decir what my dog eat. In the morning is tortilla, right? Eso. Pero en vez de decir esto, yo puedo decir the thing that my dog eats in the morning is tortilla. Entonces, voy a sustituir la palabra what for the thing that. The thing that. The thing Pero that. no es, ajá, digamos que no sería como una regla que tengo que hacerlo, tengo que cambiarlo. No, es para es que como... ustedes entiendan qué significa what. Ah, Uh -huh. es para que sí. ustedes entiendan qué, significa, qué es lo que significa what porque a veces eh, cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés más nosotros que nunca hemos hablado inglés y lo estamos aprendiendo hasta hoy necesitamos como siempre saber de dónde viene y por qué lo dice y así ¿verdad? de la mayoría de cosas entonces eso es lo que significa what the thing that, the thing that. Uh -huh. exacto, exacto. Sí, ahora sí ya lo tengo claro <ríe> perfecto algo más Laureana alguna otra pregunta vocabulario ¿Qué, ¿Qué le parece? Hasta ahorita, teacher. 
Sí le he entendido bien, solo que a veces me quedo. Porque usted habla súper fluido. Entonces, yo me juela. Pero sí, sí, entiendo. Se entiende. Sí. Vale, pero cualquier pregunta, cualquier cosa que usted crea que, que no entiende, siempre pregunte. ¿Ok? Yo con, ahí con todo lo que pueda, yo le voy a ir ayudando. Ok. Ok. No hay ningún problema. ¿Algo más? Eh, Laureana, ¿algún comentario? ¿Cómo va en la plataforma? Eh, ayer hice la tarea de ayer. Ok, ¿cómo ah. salió? ¿Todo bien? Sí, 25 a 25. Solo una, okay. es que lo hice dos veces, pero uh -huh. una me salió mala nada más. De ahí lo volví a hacer y ya. Ya le salió bien. Ya me salió bien. Uh -huh. Ok, perfect, perfect. I like that. Ok, entonces ya sabe, cualquier pregunta también por el WhatsApp nos puede contestar. Nos puede preguntar, lo único que a veces nos tardamos un poquito porque durante el día hay otros trabajos, sí. <ríe> pero estamos pendientes, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, perfect, Lauriana. Have a beautiful rest of the night. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, yes. Ok, bye.